beautiful day here in Ohio. Just getting going. Woke up here at this nice forested rest area. Letting the weasel do his thing. Really is quite a beautiful place. So today, we have about five hours to drive all the way up to Breslau, Ontario, where I gotta drop this trailer behind me loaded full of stuff. And uh, we're gonna drop it there and we're gonna mosey on over to Waterloo, Ontario and pick up another box full of stuff. And we're gonna pull that box full of stuff down to Rock Island, Illinois. And then drop that stuff there. And then after we drop the stuff there, we're gonna go pick up some new stuff in a different trailer in Davenport, Iowa. And then we're gonna take that stuff home. I believe that's the plan. I think we're going home. We're going home, Diesel. A couple of days yet, bud. A couple of days yet. So we're just waking ourselves up here. That is a massive tree over there. Look at that. Look at this thing. Diesel, that one's mine. Don't mark it. It's mine. Look at this thing. Wow. I guess this is where the trail ends, bud. Technically, it does go further in there. But not for us. They got a big no fence here. It says a big N-O. Wonder why they blocked that part off. I'd like to go walking through there. <laughs> All right, interstates. Ready or not, here we come. Let's get this day underway. We're going to have our eyes peeled for a cup of coffee. I wish they'd sell coffee at rest areas, but I guess we can't have everything. Runway here. We're about to lift off into traffic. So if it's well, it's about four and a half hours up to Breslau, Ontario, from here. So I'm guessing it's what, probably two hours to the border. We're crossing from Detroit, Michigan, into Windsor, Ontario. We've already been cleared. They're expecting us. sign say trucks use left lane okay then if you say so always listen to signs they know best I'm guessing there's a construction zone coming up ahead where the right lane is going to be diverted onto the shoulder and then they usually like the big trucks to be in the left lane so that you're not wearing down the shoulder I think Reduce speed ahead, work zone ahead. Reduce, okay, that makes sense. We are still in Ohio, so you gotta remember that. There we go, they just built up the suspense. What's this, uh, 55, speed limit 55. 55, that would be miles an hour. They just expect you to know that. Not kilometers an hour. Then again, we do the same thing on our signs up in Canada. We just say 55, and we just expect people to know that that's kilometers an hour, not miles an hour. All right. Okay, so yeah, the right lane is gonna be running on the shoulder. And we're gonna be diverted over here onto the left side. I see what they did there. That's gonna be a fancy new road. They should change the name of the state, though, from Ohio to just construction. As soon as you cross the line, you can say, all right, I'm in construction. On the left side, Pilot Travel Center number 360. This is a very small pilot. Oh my, Look at that little building there. I hope they got the good coffee bean to cup. Sometimes these smaller ones don't have it. And it's very disappointing. 
First, we need some go-go juice. Gotta make the truck happen first. You can see the Ambassador Bridge already in the background to the right. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Uh-oh. Oh, no. You hit a cone. <laughs> oh. oh, boy, it's bright orange, man. I hit a cone, I disabled his vehicle. Detroit, welcome to Detroit. The Ambassador Bridge, like I was telling you, just off to the right there. It's gonna be the bridge to Canada, right up here. We're gonna take our essential butt over. Bridge to Canada, this one, right? Canada only. Well, I feel pretty special. We have our own road here in Detroit. Where do I go? This changes every time. Lately, they've had me crossing up in Sarnia and Port Huron. So Windsor, this one changes all the time. They're always building something new. All trucks keep right. Okay. Trucks this way. Oh, I know where we are now. Look at this. Here we are. Okay, so we follow these lines. See, it's because I've gone through here before, I recognize it all, but if it's your first time coming through here as a commercial truck, it it's, could be a little bit confusing. You go through these little things over here, they take a picture and they bill your company for the toll of going over the bridge. They, they make you pay to leave, that's how much they like us. They don't want us to leave, so we have to pay to go home. Or maybe Canada just doesn't want us back, so they're making us pay to go home. I don't know. Somebody's making us pay to go home. I don't want to go home. I like to think that America just likes me so much that they, they want to keep me, and they're going to charge me to leave. Of course, the bridge is under construction. Still. Been ongoing since at least 2011, when I started. big cities, which is, I'm wondering if that's why it was given to me as a gift. Because <laughs> whenever you get to a big city, it just freezes up. It can't handle it. And then you get lost. London, this way, down the King's Highway. That's not London, England. No, that's our London, London, Ontario. What do we got here? We got three hours approximately. Three hours up to where we're gonna drop this trailer. And we'll do three hours straight back. Well, we're gonna cross back into the US. It's from Sarnia into Port Huron. So at the other, at the other one. But these roads are really nice, actually. I'm pretty impressed, Ontario. Well, the first inspection station into Ontario is open. Fantastic. What do you want? I got nothing for you guys. What do you want with me? Well, this isn't even a scale. This is an actual inspection station. Oh boy. 
Okay, I better talk to you guys once I'm done here then. Oh, this will be fun. Look at all of these little inspection booths here, eh? 13 of them. Why would they put 13? Why not like 14 or 12? 13 is very unlucky. Of course, it's a DOT inspection station. Of course they're gonna put 13. But they let me go, so nonetheless, here we go. I'm getting out of here before he changes his mind. So it's not a scale, it's just an inspection station. That's it. Which means that they inspect you. So I got a little mini inspection there. Uh, he just checked my lights and my brakes. And then he said, you can go. Well, I didn't ask questions, all right, I'm out of here. I got nothing to hide, but I don't want him to sit here all day looking for something either. You know? Kind of wasting my time, but I understand. You gotta keep the road safe. You gotta keep the road safe. All he did was verify that my pre-trip was true and correct. You know, if we didn't have any inspection stations like that, there'd be a lot of pretty sketchy rigs on the road and probably a lot more people dying. So it's a good thing they do that. It's just inconvenient when it happens to you. Welcome to Cambridge, Ontario. This building on the left looks very interesting, but it's all boarded up, which makes it even more interesting to me. I really want to go inside. I wonder what it used to be. Every window is boarded up. Huh. It's probably one big attraction at one point. Well, what's taking this green light so long? Come on now, come on Cambridge. Can we go now? Can we go? This is a really long light. We got bylaw enforcement right in front of us here. I better be careful. Finally. There we go. So do any of you live in Cambridge, Ontario? Isn't there a Cambridge in England also? It's probably what this town is named after. This to us is a very old town. I can't imagine how old the, the original Cambridge in England would be. If I can get up this hill, wow. This hill looks straight up. I'm struggling to get it up here a little bit. So we're just down the road from where I gotta drop this trailer. We have a new friend behind us. The belly box on there too to put more stuff in. Uh, some of you keep asking, what do we put in the belly box? We put stuff in there. Lots of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Whatever stuff you can fit in our trailers, we put in there and we take it other places where they need this stuff. And then we break the, and then we unload their stuff. And then we pick up different stuff and then we bring it somewhere else. We unload it there. It's a very, very involved and technical, technical thing that we got going on here. We bring stuff from point A to point B. I love it. I think we're ready to go. I'm all hooked up. I've done my pre-trip, all the lights work. All the tires are filled with air because they work a lot better when they're filled with air. I know this from experience. So this friend of ours is going to Rock Island, Illinois. It's about 10 hours of driving away. We won't quite make it there today yet, because once I get back into the US... You have seven hours and 52 minutes of remaining drive time. That's on Canadian hours of service. US hours of service, I got three and a half hours available to me today yet, and then tomorrow I have 11 hours available to me. So we'll go three and a half hours down the road yet and see where that brings us to. We'll do the rest tomorrow. We're back here in Michigan, and I'm just about out of hours. I got 31 minutes left on the clock here, so. 600 meters, turn right on, Chapag Road in that, approaching destination on the left side in 150 meters. Speak up, Karen, we can't hear you. 
in 400 meters. Turn right on. Pack road in that. Approaching destination on the left side. I don't think she's connected right. Stop talking. I'm tired of talking. Tired, tired of your voice already. Never mind. So we're at the Love's Travel Plaza uh, near Flint, Michigan. This is where we're going to spend the night if they have a spot for us here. Sure hope they do. It'd be very nice. Oh, they got a McDonald's here. Oh, no. That's dangerous. Oh. No. No. No, I want a Big Mac. That is what it is, I guess. Approaching destination 100 meters on the left side. Right here. I gotta get car car have properly arrived at your connected. destination on the left side. Love's travel stop number 701. People just wait, wait for my trailer. You always edge forward. You forget that my trailer is gonna drive behind me. There we go. This looks like a newer loves. There's a lot of new loves around the country. It's growing so fast. So many new locations being built. When I was on flatbeds, we delivered uh, a lot of their underground tanks uh, from up in Edmonton. They haven't expanded into Canada yet though, which surprises me. I think they'd do well up there. Maybe there's some red tape in the way. Who knows? Oh, there's lots of parking here. Oh, I see a whole bunch of spots already. Fantastic. Look at this. We got spots all the way back here. This is a huge parking lot. Look at this RV guy here. Who does he think he is? <laughs> Taking up three spots. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? Oh, they're working. He's painting lines and arrows. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll give you a pass. Look at all this parking here. This is... Something gone wrong or what? I'm going to park right in the corner back here. Look at that. This is wonderful. 